to has the thought to put it on, it's up to them whether it's modest or strange or appropriate or not appropriate, right? But what is what is what is the law? Are you not uh, afraid of the destruction that we just read? Read it again. Read it again. Now you're thinking. That's good. You yes you are. You thinking? It's all right. Come on. The book of Zephaniah. If you're not thinking, think this time. Think this time. Watch this. The book of Zephaniah, chapter one and verse eight. Bring it out. And it shall come to pass uh -huh. in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. Uh -huh. Then the I will... dead, you know what the day of the Lord's sacrifice is? We just read about it in First Peter chapter. I mean, Second Peter chapter three. We just read about it. destruction. Destruction. They're all these cities destroyed. All these religions destroyed. All these kingdoms that taught you these religions destroyed. That's right. And we're going to read it again. But you need to understand first and foremost, sister. First and foremost. Because again, it's not an attack on you. It's an attack on the demons that oppress you. It's an attack on all the lies that all of our people have been taught. That's why we own the microphone. Because we want all of our people to hear. Not just our sister. What's your name? Uh, Melissa. Melissa? Not just our sister Melissa. We want Melissa and all the the children of Israel, right? Which who, that's who you are. That's who our people are. Right. We want all of them to hear what we're saying, right? right. So listen carefully again, Melissa. The the day of the Lord's sacrifice is the day that Christ comes back, not to hug everybody, not to kiss everybody, not to give you a soft look. It's a, come on. That's not how Christ is coming back. Right. Christ is coming back to kill everybody who's not keeping right. his commands. Bloody murder is how Christ is coming back. Watch this. Read it again. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, and verse 8. Read it And it shall come to pass in the, in the day of the Lord's sacrifice uh -huh. that I will punish. Listen, Melissa. That I will punish the princes. Uh, the princes? And the who, are the, who are the princes? Those set in stature. Those who think themselves to be something. Right. Those who think themselves to be so important, or so smart, or so rich, or so mighty, that no judgment can touch them. So Christ is coming straight at the neck of whoever when he returns. Bring whoever ain't keeping the laws. Right. Whoever ain't doing what he said do right. in the Bible. Right. Right. That we all got. We all got a Bible. Right or wrong? Right or wrong? All these institutions that you can see right here, all these religions, they all come under the guise of this same book. Teach. Right. But somehow we don't know what's in the book. Right. Somehow. Somehow we don't know what it, it, we think of this book as subjective. We Read think of right and wrong as subjective. Teach. Well, what about if somebody's sister? If a brother feels like rape, it's subjective whether it's right or wrong. Damn. How would you feel about that? Bring it out. If a brother feel like murder, it's, sub it's subjectively right or wrong. How would you feel about that? See, you say, no, you should not kill, brother. You should not kill, sis. Can you say that? No, Melissa, you can't. That's the argument that you're. That's the argument that you're fronting about those clothes. That's right. Let's read it again. The book of Zephaniah, chapter one and verse eight. This it is, is anti. This is anti-subjective right here. Watch this. And it shall hold come on, to Melissa. pass. Hold on. Hold on. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice, and I will punish the princes and the king's children. And the king's children. So do you Come follow on. Oh. Every, do you yourself follow every single rule in the Bible? Yes. Bring it out! Bring yes. it out! Yes. Bring it out! Yes. Bring it out. yes. And guess what? Let me tell you something. Melissa, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Melissa. Let me tell you something, Melissa. It's a lie. Without this Bible, it's a lie. I am a monster. It is a lie. Bring it out! Judgment? Melissa, I am an animal Judging. without this Bible. Said, Bring it out! Watch this. Keep reading. You're Melissa, you're not listening. You're not, to be you're not listening. That's how this demon, that's how this demon got in you. That's how this demon got in you right here, Melissa. Go ahead, read on. We're not out here to make peace with nobody. We are here coming at the neck of all these fake-ass religions. That's right. That destroy our people. That got our people in chains to begin with. Teach. That's why we're here, to make war. Give me uh, Exodus 15 and 3. Bring it up! Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah, the real Jesus Jesus the Christ, right. is not coming for peace. Yes, Neither right. do we come for peace. Sing it up! We come to take back this world. Right. And you, be, you blacks and you Hispanics and you Native Americans, you better join this Bible. You better join this movement. You better come on, come, come, come on, brother. I got you. Is there, um, why is it that we are not on uh, one people? Why are we not on one people? That's an excellent question. Excellent question. Watch this. Let's get first. Let's get Exodus 15 and three. 
Because I said something, right? A lot of our people think Christ is coming for peace. A lot of people think that the prophets are here for peace. We ain't here for peace. We're here to restore the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans back to their real heritage. Yes, right? Right? Which is the law, statutes, and commandments of this Bible. Right. Right. Let's get it. Come on, read. The book of Exodus, chapter 15, in verse 3. Bring it out. Lord is a man of war. This concept of this weak man with long hair and the, 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 the blue eyes and this nonsense, that's, what, that's all lies and we've been deceived by it. So you see this Bible, it's subjective. It's whatever you think it means. It's whatever you want it to be. It's whatever, however you feel that moment. Because we have been taught this demon right here. Right. Not this. Read it again. The Lord is a man care about your feelings. He don't care about your opinions at all. Keep my commandments or die. That's what the real Messiah says. That's what Jesus the Christ says. Read it again. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. The Lord is his name. Now let's get your question. What was your question, bro? I was saying why we're not one people. I think you misunderstand what I said, but I said we all come from one people. We come from one people. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Man decides to choose to go the way he chooses to go. I understand. I know that's not Jesus. Blessed be the Lord my strength that teaches my hands to war and fingers to fight. You know, I think you just misunderstood. You. Ab absolutely. No, no, no. I, I, didn't, I didn't hear your question at all. But listen, when the, when the Bible say, uh, 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 we one people, that means, that's very, very particular, right? When the Bible says we one people, we got to ask, our, especially for somebody like yourself who knows that a lot of our people don't know we one people. Right. Right? We got, we look different. Some of us look different. Some of us uh, live a different lifestyle. Some of us come from up north. Some of us come from, what is it? You got five boroughs here and, and, and such, right? And y'all all think y'all different. <laughs> you know, you understand. So we, in a lot of different ways, we're divided our own people, right? And everybody says, I know Christ ain't black. I know Christ ain't white. The message itself, or the importance, or the significance of that in itself, is not that you understand that he ain't his, his skin color. That's not the importance. Right. But the message that he comes to, 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 to tell, right? The spirit that he has, that we all should have. Right? right. Where we at? What you want? Give, uh, let's get Zephaniah 2 and 1. Yes, sir. Zephaniah 2 and 1. Bring so it up. It's, it's true. So though we know, some of us know, right, like my brother right here, we know Christ is black. We know he ain't white. We know that we all come from one people, right? right. right? But however, with you knowing that, bro, we still, our people are still destroyed. Our people are still divided, right? right? Our people still killing each other. Our people still hate each other, right or wrong? My brother, you with me? Right or wrong? These are still the conditions on our people, male and female. Wherever in the world, wherever in the state, wherever in the country we are, right. it's the same condition, right? So watch this, read. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, in verse 1. Bring it out. Gather yourselves together. So the Bible says, gather yourselves together. Who is the Bible talking to? God's people. God's people, which is? Us. Us. Come, come stand. Listen, learn, brother. Who? That's us. Who is, uh, give us a name that God calls us. What's our name? I got you. I got you. Uh, okay, where you at? Okay. Oh, the book of Psalms, chapter 147 and verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. To Jacob. His word, meaning who the Bible is talking to. That's God's word, right? The Bible. Who the Bible is talking to, right? He showeth his word to Jacob. Go ahead. His statutes and his judgments. The understanding and how to execute. If somebody goes against these statutes, if somebody goes against these commandments, how to deal with that. He shows his laws, his, his wisdom, his laws, statutes, judgments to, to Jacob. Go ahead. Unto Israel. Unto who? Unto Israel. That's who the Bible is talking to. That's who this Bible is for. Now the nation of Israel are the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans in the world today. That's right. Why don't we know that? Because we don't read. When you go into the book of uh, 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 Deuteronomy chapter, for, uh, really from 28 all the way through to the end, it's talking about some of the curses and also Genesis 49. It's talking about some of the curses that would be on some people, some, myster some, some mysterious people, right? Because none of us calling ourselves Benjamin, Judah, you know, what's your race? I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm Ephraim. I'm, you know, I'm, we don't call ourselves. Now we say uh, 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 Puerto Rican. Now we say I'm black. Now we say I'm African-American. Now we say I'm Mexican. Now we say, oh, no, I'm just a nigga. 
We use by words now, right? Because we've been destroyed, right? So we don't know when we read the Bible how to identify or connect that Bible to who we are, or who our people actually is, right? Watch this, read it again. The book of Zephaniah. Now, now listen with listen with good ears now, because now you know how to identify what this is going into, right? Who the Bible talking to again, bro? Who is his people? The Israelites. The Israelites. And the Israelites are the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? We know that by the curses that fit those people right now. Not back in the because a lot of times we say, oh, we don't know because this that was back in the that was back in the past. No, we we gonna go in this Bible and we're gonna show our people what fit us today as it pertains to curses. Right. We ain't no blessings. It ain't no bl if you blessed, it's by the devil. You understand? Ain't no blessings. If you want to get rich in basketball, guess what? You're going to have to be a demon. Bring it up! You're going to have to sacrifice yourself to evil. That's what you're going to have to do to, to get that contract, to get the millions, to feed your family that way. That's right. You understand? And not be oppressed by a lot of the curses that the rest of your people go through. Right. So we're going to get it, but, but watch this. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, and verse 1. Bring it up! Gather yourselves together! It's talking to who? The Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Because guess what? All the other people are already gathered. They not call Chinese ain't calling themselves different names. Right. Oh, I'm I'm a nigga, or I'm a I'm a a, a, a slant eye, or I'm a no, they all calling themselves Orientals or whatever it is they call themselves. You don't hear about all these different bywords on everybody. You only hear about that with the children of Israel. Right. You only hear you only hear all these uh uh, uh bywords. Of, of the other, to, from the other nations against our, our people. That's right. About us. You don't hear that about nobody else. It does not happen. Right. So when the Bible say gather yourselves together, first and foremost, it's talking about the Israelites. And how we do that is according to our Father and the wisdom and the laws and judgments that he gave us. That's right. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.